A picture of neglect lines a mile of Northeast 33rd Drive. Homeless people look to those like Bruce Arnold for help. We bring out both love and food for our friends living along the streets here. Uh, that's the word we use for people living outdoors, is our friends who live outdoors. He's been doing this as part of Home PDX Church for years. Yeah, I think the number one need on the street is someone to look you in the eyes and say you're worth something. Like Bruce, city outreach crews have been targeting this street ahead of the opening of the first city-sanctioned RV park for homeless people. It's part of the city's Safe Rest Village program and opened in July. It can hold 55 vehicles. So far, nine RVs have moved in. More are expected later this week. The word on the street isn't great. I call it jail. Basically what it is. Andrew was offered a spot in the park, but says no one followed up. So if you were to be offered a spot again, would you move in? Um, I don't know, truly. I hear they will help you get housing. That's the only reason why I might, might, might do it. When you look down Northeast 33rd Drive, you would think that all of these trailers and RVs would be eligible to move into the Safe Rest Park. However, the RV or trailer has to be fully functional in order to move into the park, which is a big barrier for people out here. The city Safe Rest Village team tells KGW they may be able to tow RVs and trailers on a case-by-case -case basis, but people need to have some form of proof of the right to use the vehicle and a valid driver's license. I can say that, that none of these RVs are probably going to go in there. You know, most of these are put, they're abandoned for places you know, people picked them up on the side of the road. They were, they were left by somebody else. Even though Ralph's RV runs, he still won't move in if given the chance. It's a controlled environment. They gotta let everybody in there. They can't. You can't put. You can't put a, a a label on people. Nobody wants to go in there because of the rules. No one wants to. No one wants to be told what to do like that. The Salvation Army runs the site. They were unavailable to talk with KGW on camera Wednesday, but their spokesperson said they weren't sure if they had a list of rules. KGW is planning to meet with them next week to find some clarity. In Northeast Portland, Blair Best, KGW News.